Just uploaded a video of my mom's tank a little earlier. Wanted to give a little update on this tank, my tank. Coral banded shrimp. For some reason, I always avoided buying one, but pretty cool. He's already molted once. Growth. The anemones moved a little bit, scooched away from the zoa. But as you can see, is love and life. A lot of new growth on the Singularia. The polyps, which, no surprise, they're moving. I took the little zoar frag that was at the base of my little coral bridge. I just think with the conch, the hermits, the Sarah snails, he just didn't have an opportunity. I moved them over here into the crookedest dead coral. But just this afternoon, moved them right there. So we'll see how he works up there. Zenny is showing some growth. As always, make sure you have it separated from the main rock structure or else it'll take over your tank. Great movement. Tanks hanging out right next to them. I'm feeling a lot better about Pete. He's getting pretty skinny. Still pretty skinny, but believe it or not, he's actually a little bit thicker than he was just a couple days ago. We got these Tigger Pods. Probably should have got the bottle out of the fridge before I started the video. Only use half the bottle. I actually poured some in a shot glass, put some of the tank water in the shot glass with them, and used the coral feeder and squirted them all in the rocks. A couple shots into the top rock, a couple shots in each side rocks down by the sand bed. And I also moved a little bit of this macroalgae out to right there and shot a little bit in there and of course put in my fuge and in each chamber in the back of the bio cube which if you have one you know there's three chambers chambers excuse me anyway feeling a lot better about Pete's chances of Staying alive. Bad thing about a reef tank that's going well is your wife gets mad at you for staring at the tank. I still love you, Christine. Alright, now I'm getting sappy. Anyway, we named the uh, coral banded pepper. Obviously. Alright, 
Y'all have a good night.